Hello, people of the tubes. Hello, and welcome to Game Squid. Hmm. All right. Show what we got. Okay. Pew pew pew. Oh crap! Yes. My my controls are inversed. What the heck? Ooh, when did that happen? Yeah, Ooh. when did that happen? <laughs> Let me go look at those. Let's see here. Um. Wait. Oh yeah, there's a minus right there for some weird reason. You see it? When wait? Where did I put? Oh, yeah, when did I get? Whoops. Uh, hey, I just learned something new. Apparently, a minus next to an equal sign. That's what that does. Well, you could. Actually, that's that's not true. It's unrelated to the equal sign entirely. You could put a minus anywhere and it would reverse the direction of whatever. Well, now I know what that does. So, yay. Uh, you've learned a minus. <laughs> Magic. All right, now. You will never see me. Pew -pew. Mm. Okay, so what are we doing? Now let's make it... Let's change the rotation for it to face forwards. Now you don't have the <laughs> other target to rely on. <laughs> Wait, so like to face like what do you mean to face forward? Anyways, you can you don't have to use the velocity anymore. Now you can p use the the vector in, of the function. No, 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 that's not it. We're talking about the the, the look rotation. That's it. Oh. You, you can. Place the velocity thing with the direction, and it'll be the the same. Yeah. Now the, it looks yes, it's better. <laughs> and then, hmm, how do we handle that now? Um, right. Let, let, let's just rotate the capsule. Wait. Hmm. How do we handle this? Indeed. Go look at your scripts. Oh no. Is that cheating? Well, okay. H how I would do it is is multiply it by, by a quaternion. Wait. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of this. <laughs> Wait, actually, no. Am I ever going to do anything in void start? Like, that's what yes. happens when you boot it up, correct? Yes. Sometimes you do things in there. Hmm. Quite often, actually. It's like... When you declare a list of some sort, then you can't declare it in the declare. Uh, you can't set it up in the declaration. You do it in start, or if you have some kind of some kind of pre-rendering that runs, then you put that in start or anything really. Mm. Hey, mm. for this video, can I do a bit of modeling? Uh, no, not really. No, darn it! I need to uh, get to making that spaceship model. Hmm. Anyways. What to do, what to do. Actually, to be honest, I could just do that in Unity. All I need is like two more squares. Yeah. I'll do that. Could, I guess you can do that real quick. I'll parent it. Here, I'm going to make you disappear for a second. Um, no. How, how do I make you invisible? What? Why would you? Just, 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 so just rotate away from it or whatever. Oh, sure. There. Boom. Okay. Uh. Now we're just going to... Add a couple more cubes. Let's see. Game object, 3D object. Um, let's make some. Let's make a quad. Let's not make a quad. I'm not actually sure what a quad is. Really? Yeah, what is it? I have no idea. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let me use some more capsules. Oh, wait, that's a cylinder. That Good actually enough. looks fine. <laughs> 90. No, I still need to. Okay, on the x coordinate. 90. I thought those. And Those capsules would look perfectly fine for thrusters. Hmm. Oh my! Well, I'm I'm gonna get a bit nif nifty with this thing. Uh. Hmm. Mm. Parent it. I'll do that once I'm done with it. Make it a tad bit smaller. <laughs> Such modeling. Yep. So you don't do modeling at all. You should, nope. you should try it, it's fun. Here. Um, I probably should, but I'm already I already have a very easy job and I'm too lazy to do it, so <laughs> I probably shouldn't add a, a difficult job to it as well. Sure, I'm gonna make you this cube act nah actually cube size cube size is fine. I'll just add a couple more capsules. Oh my. 
I wonder how this this vision of the Earth spaceship is going to come together. Yeah, same here. In front of our lovely background. I know, it, it's so dumb where it, where it just inserts them at random positions. Oh my, it's this going to be a robot. I want this to be 5. Actually, no, that's too small. 0.9. <laughs> Good enough for me. It's so large. I'm pretty sure that's the size of the things that I fire off, to be honest. Yeah. Modeling, modeling. This is what <laughs> I do, but now I'm learning coding. Oh my. Perfect. You could just du duplicate it and then yeah, that's move what it. I, that's what I was gonna do. Just it's, over. It's, yeah, I guess that's fine. Mm. No, actually, no. Remove it. Parent it first. Uh, Wait. That's not parented. That's parented. This now you can duplicate it and just negative the position. And then C control D is the duplicate. Oh. You just reverse the first position, it would seem. Yeah. I'm going to try to duplicate. Okay. Now, which position is that? That one. Just make that one plus. Okay. Perfect. It's a chat pack. And now I can texture <laughs> it later. Because apparently fluorine doesn't like texturing either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe one day you'll we'll we'll continue this and you'll have it perfectly modeled. Yep. Here. <laughs> we'll just name That's... this Space Cube. Space Cube. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Play it. Okay. Oh wait, this is gonna look really weird <laughs> when it shoots stuff out. <laughs> oh yes, it doesn't Ouch. even appear to be the center as much. Oh, actually, that can touch just fine. It's uncomfortably close, I think, now that it's so large. <laughs> you should scale it down. Yeah, huh. <laughs> like the camera, you mean? Yeah, or the, the size of it. I'll just say 10. While you're there, you should move it down, I guess. The camera. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's, that's what I just did. Move the camera up, I mean. No, I meant, I meant so that you look... Above the the spaceship, not just straight at it. Oh, because probably the enemies are going to come from above, right? Oh, how do I do that then? Well, you know about vectors. Do it. Oh, true. I do know about vectors. Camera dot main dot transform dot forward. Uh, yes. Let's see, so minus. So dot up. I mean, that's not really a vector, but... It's also not what you want at all. Is it now? Nope. Oh, where am I? Well, you're above the, the object and inside it. Oh, true. Forward. Okay, how do I do this then? Should I make a new vector? Possibly. Equals new... No! Ah. Terrible. Why would you equal it? Why, what is it with you and equaling it? Whoa, why is this black now? What, what is it's this because about? you pressed insert. Oh, how do I unpress insert? What is insert? Oh, there. Forward. It's above delete. Found it. Hey, go back. There. Forward times 10. Um, okay. Yes. You still wanted to move it up. Mm. Well, I guess I wanted you to. Yeah, you want me to. Okay, what do I do? Well, it's a vector and you're going to move it up. Let's see. So. It's, it's amazing how you know basic coding syntax sometimes, but then these things Vector puzzle you. Vectors fluster me. I don't like vectors. But that's like one of the biggest things when it comes to coding, isn't it? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. Well, show me your magical ways, Florian. Well, Florian. 
It's plus new vector, obviously. Plus. No. Just, just why would you, why would you mess with that after it worked? So, like, would I put the plus new vector up here? Yes. Oh, but that's, this... a, that's what I was thinking. Oh my gosh! But then I was like, mm, maybe not. It's actually not going to be new vector. In fact, it's going to be vector three dot up. Really? Yeah. Because that's a pre-made vector that points up, uh, multiplied yeah. by more than, multiplied by like five or whatever. Oh, um, oh you see, it's slightly higher. Okay. Right. There you go. Now let's try it. <laughs> Camera's moved. Oh, like that? You mean? Well, I guess. Maybe I thought you meant lower. like on, I thought you meant like on top. Oh right, I assume that would have looked different. Yes. Actually, all you need to do if you want that is to rotate the camera. Oh. Oh, you can that try that true. if you want. That's true. <laughs> Here, I just mean camera set. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't want to do that though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because we used camera dot forward, which changes when the camera rotates, so it'll it'll always look forward and from it'll always be pointing at the spaceship, I guess. Mm. Well, actually, but then it looks better when I'm on a two-dimensional plane, so. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just keep it like this. Oh and well, anyways. I want to it down. So. Mm. Now what? Uh well. Go to the shoot function. Yeah, just a second. Yeah, I like it. I like it at this. Mm, nice. It's my preferred angle. Okay, to the shoot function. We're here. That took a long time. Yeah. Now quaternion. Now quaternions are so complicated. They they even puzzle me sometimes. No, no, just where you were. Af now quaternions. You can't. You can't add them or subtract them what you do with them is multiply them so you, we're gonna we're gonna say mul after this whole thing obviously multiply with with the whole thing again wait so just like copy and paste it yes just the quaternion part that's it and then you're gonna insert there vector up and vector right and see what, what changes. Wait, what do I put that in here? Yeah. Okay. With, with a comma uh, with a comma af after that. Start up. Vector three dot right. Okay, yes. let's see what happens. Now we now we're rotating them by a vector that we're just creating there and let's see if that's the right vector too. To change the capsule. No, but it certainly changed the capsules. <laughs> I like this actually. Uh, pew pew. Pew pew. Uh, it looks less silly than the last one, I suppose. Let's try it with with up and right reversed. So just switch them around. Yeah. Oh, that actually does something. Yes. Oh. Yeah, but, wait, is this supposed to be a vector 3 or a vector 2? Vector 3 always. Oh. oh. When, when would I use a vector 2? If you're gonna make something two-dimensional. What about a regular vector? There's no regular vector. There's a... Oh, what about a vector 4? Well, that's just one more number. I don't know why you would need that. Probably never, actually. That's for the... That's for, like, in the future. Oh yes, when they have time as well. That's a mm, that's what that that's looks a like. thing. So that that hasn't changed the thing, so that I so like apparently the way wait, this is how it was. No, this is different. No, this is how it was at this uh, before we multiplied it with this new quaternion. Oh. Is it? Yeah, which oh. means that it has now let's try to do kinda looks like Wi Fi. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's what else is there? Upright and God damn it! Hmm. There's gonna be another one. 
What is that left? No, no, there's no left actually. It's just negative right. No, there's left. No, there isn't. Yes. Is there? That was one of the autocorrects. So yes, there is left. Weird. Boo. Oh, but this is the same as up right. I just do left down. Well, if you if you do the if, do if you keep right? up, that won't work. They can't be left and right at the same time. Yes, they they'd be opposing. They it would be pointless. Um, and it did nothing, in fact. Okay. What if I did left up? Well, then that would be the same as. Yes. Well, try, try left up actually. Surprised up. Oh, surprised left actually works. Hmm. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Yeah, and there's, there's only no one difference. different combination. Here, what if oh, there's there's all kinds of combinations actually. I wonder if the fact that we're only using one vector and the other one is a difference. Hmm. Here, what if we switch them around? Would that just do what the other thing did? Uh, what did you switch around? I switched around the left and the up. Oh, yep, this is what it did with when I switched yep. around the right and the up. Yes, that, that's what we had previously. Okay, so, god damn it, let me just look up what, what else there is. Vector crazy. Oh, forward, that's it, right. Vector 3 forward. Let's see if that's the right one. The, the other one will probably be up. I wonder if we're going to see some weird rotations at any point. No? Jesus. Alright, try up for the last one. Interesting content. Highly, yes. Cotonians always puzzle everyone. <laughs> Nobody understands them. It's... Back to Wi-Fi symbol. God damn it. Wow, okay. Let me just check how I did it then. Just a second. I want faster Wi-Fi. Uh. Ah, now I have all the Wi-Fi. All right, so apparently... Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, let me move this back. Zero. Oh, I see. Okay, so the first one will be vector up, and then the second one. Hmm, what is that even? I guess forward or whatever. So the second one's forward. Let's see what that does now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Actually, this might do it. Come to think of it, we did have upwards all the time last, right? Hey. Yeah, finally! Oh that my took god! Long enough. Yeah, it sure did. And this is how Cartonians are is puzzling this is why to everyone. Like capsules? Nope, capsules are fine. Oh, I thought you didn't like them. Like in the first video that corrupted. Okay, well, now to to see if you paid attention, let's see if you can figure out how to make this spread less. How to make the spread less? Yes. Hmm. There you go, you do pay attention, okay. Yeah. Uh, 510. Yes. Yeah, it's a, that's a pretty insane spread. The, oh, yeah. So the problem is... Oh, like yeah, that's that. better. Much better. Pew, pew. Okay, so the problem will be... I don't move uh, fast enough again. I need to move faster. Try, try enabling the colliders again. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's see... Resources. Just a second, I'm lagging. Oh no. Sources, capsule, capsule glider. It'll probably mess everything up, I guess. Oh, it'll definitely mess everything up. <laughs> it's a beautiful, actually. Then I move faster. I like this oh. much better. Oh, you know what we should do? What? Uh. Oh. Instead of, like, positioning them to the thing, I should also multiply it by a vector so it should, like, spread further away from my thing itself. God, doesn't that just make you want to make it so you can actually fly forward? Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that, actually. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea, though. No. You'd have to make a 3D level. No, it definitely isn't a good idea. Here, let's see. Shoot new vector 3. 
five. That's not what matters though. Um, void shoot transform position. Okay, um, do you here? Just just a second. I need to think for a second. You, do you want to make it shoot forwards? Is that it? No. Um. Plus. Um. Hmm. Wait. I have an idea, but now it's gone. Vector dot vector three dot up. Oh. Two. Well, that's certainly a solution. Vector twenty-three. Yep, all the massive vectors. All the, every single dimension. Well, unfortunately, also collide with each other. These capsules. Hey, that actually worked. That idea. Yes, it did. Good job, Harry. High five. You sure did it. I'm gonna make that. However, let's do it in a more professional way. <laughs> By by disabling the colliders. Oh god, actually, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not a problem. Okay. I'm trying to get them to run into each other. We need to make the. Uh, oh yeah. We need to remove the colliders of the spaceship. Do I? Okay. Poor, well, sp no. Poor space cube. Oh. No, I mean, just. Just the, the colliders of the objects that are parented to it. Because they'll mess things up. Oh. So, like, the cylinder and the capsules? Yeah, they don't need colliders. Yeah. Well, screw colliders. You could just make the collider of the other thing larger, I guess. Okay, here. Space cube. Box collider. Edit collider. Let's see. <laughs> I know That's how to very do good. I know how to do this. Look at me, Mom. <laughs> here, we can switch that out to here. Oops, that's turned off the platter. Damn it. It's hard to click on colliders. Yes. Can you really not scale them with numbers? Weird. Well, make sure its centers is zero. Yep. No, I mean, you can you oh. can set the center to zero by changing the numbers to zero. Oh. Yeah. Yes, that's a hitbox. Very good. Boom, mom, I made a hitbox. Set it to zero. Wait, set what to zero? This? Yes. Zero, zero. No, not, not the size. Zero, <laughs> Just the center. There. Ah. There's three numbers to the center. Oh. All three? It's not even, yes. Well, they're all basically zero anyways. Just didn't want it to be off. Anyways, hey, that's it's not probably a, bad a bit glider. large. But yes. Well, it's a bit large, but yes. Um, now we're going to. Okay, nice. Do you remember how you how you got that rigid body? Now you're gonna make it get the collider. Hmm. So, wait. What do you mean? The get component command. Oh. oh, you want me to add a rigid body to the whole space cube thing? No, wait. that's not it. We're in the code. We're yeah. going to make the collider of the shoot of the target ignore the collider of the spaceship. So am I putting this in void shoot? Yes, indeed you are. Okie dokie. Okay, so um here. Let's see here. Target dot get component dot position. Position. Wait, let's see what you're doing here. Okay, well. Um, well, close enough. You get it's called get component collider, and look how get component is is. No, no, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, well, well, I guess you could copy paste it. Collider. Caps, and also look at how they how it says rigid body. Use same syntax. Oh, yes, like that. that. But collider. I'll put collider in here. Yes. Oh, collider. Okay. Screw this collider. There. Boom. No dot. But yes. All right. So before that, you're going to write physics dot ignore collision. No, oh. in the same line. Oh, like dot. No. At the start of the line. Okay. Right here. Yes, physics dot ignore collision. Dot ignore collision. 
equals. No, <laughs> enough of the equals. Damn it! Sorry, I like equals. It's a function. How do you syntax a function? Um. Oh. Boom. That's it. Nope, that that still needed a a thing in there, I think. Another yeah, that's it. Okay, now get the now get the collider of the of Oh, never mind. Just just well this the cube. Yeah, the spaceship, that's it. Wait, so grab that? No. No? Oh what what am I doing right now? This is a function. Ignore collision. You're going to need two colliders. You've got one collider in this function, oh, but you so want both of them in there. Now I have to ignore the other collider, which is um. Actually, you, you're ignoring only the collision between those two specific colliders. Everything else will still collide. Wait. So what I do? Do I need to make another game object? No. Oh. You already have a game object. It's the spaceship. You need the collider of that spaceship. What's Unfortunately, this is kind of unlogical, so I'm just going to tell you. It's it's just just get component collider because you're inside the spaceship already. Get component. No, not in there. Oh. It's separated by comma because there's two, they're both arguments of the function. Oh, that's true. It's an argument. Okay, so what am I putting? Get. Get. That's it. Component dot collider2. Uh. Well, that that is that tells you how that function works, which I which I just did. Oh. You could just copy paste the collider thing, except for the target. Okay. Yes, very good. No dot. Oh, yeah, figure that. Ha ha. Right. Wait, but how do you know? How does it know which collider is which collider? Oh, because wait. The, they're both the colliders you need. It's the collider of the capsule, and then it's the collider of the spaceship, and it's going to ignore those two. So this is this is the capsule right here, this one? That's right. And then this is the spaceship. Yes, because get component will refer to the, the, the object itself, and it, the script is attached to the spaceship, so that's how that oh, is. Oh yeah, because this script is for the spaceship. That's right. Now make a semicolon test. I think it, maybe soon in oh, the wait. future I could start doing this by myself. Oh yes, that's likely. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you don't have to teach me how to make every single game that I want to make. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, you think you're going to be... That has done nothing for me. Yes, you need to... Oh yeah, guess what you need to do. What? Man, those capsules shoot fast. Yes, well, the problem is that they are not no longer. Oh, also, there's an issue. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're going to have to go back into the object and actually delete the colliders that we disabled, not just disable them. So just no, 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 no. In inside Unity. Oh. So oh, like into the. Do I go into the, the space cube or the resources? The space cube needs its collider, but the other things don't need them. Okay, well these... Oh, the things... No, no, the there. capsules are fine. Yeah, these things. These are... The ignore collision gives you an error because these colliders exist but aren't enabled. Oh, so I need to enable them? No, you need to remove them. Oh, just remove the whole thing? That's right. Just remove the component. Okay. It's actually good anyways, remove I guess. And cylinder... Remove component. Okay, now move the op move the spawn of the of the capsules down because you want them to spawn inside the spaceship. Now that you've ignored the collision. Oh, but I kind of like them spawning up ahead. Really? Yeah, like. Oh, well, I guess that makes that redundant. But do it anyways for now, so you can tell that the collision is ignored. Okay, well then I'll just get rid of this vector three dead up that I added. Positional. Yep. And I can just. Add that for redundancy. Okay, here we are. Pew pew. Hmm. Yes, there you go. See, they they go through you without dislodging you. Will they ever be able to catch up with them, or do I need to add velocity to do that? <laughs> well, the, you you can't. You don't get faster. As soon as you press a button, you you go as fast as you go. Oh. 
Damn it, again, ignore collision fail. What is it this time? What? Did you did clear it and try? Oh no, actually, that was cleared. What is wrong? In ignore collision field. Oh, oh right, the, the capsules don't have colliders, that's it. Oh, so I need to add colliders on them too? Yeah, just enable them, okay. Now let's... And I, now you'll see that they'll collide with each other, but not with the spaceship. <laughs> that's hilarious. Or is that... Is that happening? Did yeah. you move the spaceship or did they move you? Oh no, they... I... Um, they... <laughs> wait, did they move that? That's the same thing. What you no. Just said. No, did the did you move because the well you would have rotated if they had collided with you, so they yeah, didn't. See, I'm moving myself. Yes, it wasn't clear because I don't know what you're pressing. All right, so yeah, the next step would have been to make them not to make them ignore each other as well. Well, then basically all you have to do is take this whole thing again, Control C. Enter. Yes, but you can't because you you don't have the the other colliders. Wait, what do you mean? The, the the target only exists inside the shoot function. As soon as the shoot function is over, it it ceases to exist. Oh wait, so then they're just like their own copies. Yes. How am I supposed to do it for each single object? Well, I guess we're not. I guess the the trick will be that we're going to add a layer. So, yes, ignore this part. It's safe. Now go into Unity. Then add layer. Okay, so just what do I call these? Shots. Shots, 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 shots. One. No, just just one one layer. Oh. All right. Now you now you're going to put the the thing on the on this layer. Shots. That's right, and now you're going to go edit. Go into the code? Edit. No, no, no. Wait. In Unity, edit. Wait. Oh, edit. That's right. Project settings. Basic functions. Physics. Physics. Yeah. Oh, great. Do you call yeah, now you, now, you, now you disable where it says shots and shots. That's it. And now they don't collide with each other anymore. Really? Yeah. Wait, how because. That I, I think it'll work. The shots, yeah, see the all shots ignore now all other shots. Oh, oh, I get it. But if you make another spaceship, put put a cube up top, and then then we'll try to shoot the cube with the capsules. Ooh, I think <laughs> I know what I want to do with this game. What is it? I think I want to make this a multiplayer game. It can be local. It, well, it'll have to be local because I'm not hosting online servers. But, yes, um, you also wouldn't know how to program them, probably, because it's incredibly complicated. Program multiplayer? Yes. Well, I could do that, and then I would just both have them on the same keyboard or, like, set up Xbox controls or whatever, and I would have them shoot each other to death. And who, hmm. like, I don't know, best of three. Yes, too bad that you'd have to... I don't know how that would work, I suppose, unless... The other player will be on top. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, that could work. That <laughs> like could Pong, different. but deadly. Deadly Pong. But maybe you should just make NPCs, really. Yeah. You, you just insert the cube and and let's let's see the physics go wild. Okay. Oh, have is this the is this the end of today's lesson? Apparently. Yeah, let's just move this. It, it needs a rigid body as well. I'll do that in a second. Yeah, where'd my mask go? Hmm. Add commodant, physics, rigid body, doing gravity. Yes, well, it could have gravity, I suppose. We could make cubes fall down and you have to shoot them. Or you could, like, dodge the cubes. Pew! Whee! Physics! And you can't hit it anymore because it flew off into the foreground. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh yeah. Now it actually it still was on the same layer. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it was only spinning left and right, but now I'm not hitting that thing again. There it goes. <coughs> Goodbye. Here, I'm just going to check to make sure that I'm recording. <laughs> yep. Okay, good. <laughs> Got to make that check every single time for the next 50 episodes. All make right. more cubes. Yay. Make more. Shoot, shoot the cubes. <laughs> 
Mm, we should make it so they can't fall off this layer. Yes, you can actually you can do, do something to lock them. I think you accidentally moved them in, in in forward as well, but I don't know for sure. I moved one on accident. Shoot the cube! Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the last cube. P pew <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there I go. Oh yes, you hit the cube. Doesn't matter cubes. though, I always shoot at the top. I should make it so that can't really happen to me. Or my camera spins with the thing. But uh, oh yeah. Actually, what I should do is that I should lock my spaceship into the one layer like you said I could do with the other thing. And then, like, so if I get hit by something, it spins me around. And then, but it's, well, whatever. Yeah. So you get my drift, I think. Yes, it would try to, to regain its original rotation, yeah. Exactly. Or, Which would be... like, I could press, like, Q and E and I could, like, tilt left and right. No, oh, yes, more Quaternion work, hooray! <laughs> more fun for you and me. Oh yes, Quaternions for everyone. Everybody loves this background, by the way. I bet. Oh, look at those. So HD. Uh, oh yes, these pixels have so much detail. Let's, oh. let's set oh, well. it to something a bit more appealing. Here, I'll go find I'll go find We'll, we'll worry about that later. No, no, I have I have images. I have my images. Oh boy, not that thing, no. No, I don't, never mind, I don't have it. I images. guess the cloud makes sense. <laughs> I, could, I could set it as a cloud. Take that, throw that in there. Then, hey, oh no, it's in the resources. <gasps> Quick, throw that into assets. Uh, and then drag, just, pew. <laughs> yes, much more quality, I see. Much more a appealing. Bit, a bit stretched, but okay. Uh, Pew. <laughs> We're getting somewhere with this, Florian. Oh, yeah. We're going to actually make a game unlike that lassie. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Bad person. Okay. Uh, well, that, that's the end of this video, I guess. Oh, yes. Subscribe for more of Space Adventures Subscribe. in Clouds, clouds area. Okay, yes, oh, video game cookie. Yep. And Game Squid. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.